Good morning, everybody. I know uh, y'all are wondering why. <laughs> I, uh, I videoed the ground this morning. It's a little chilly this morning. But um, I just want to come on and just to do a very quick live for you. A quick video, not a lot. And this is going to be a very quick video today. But <laughs> I'm Sheridan Ann Gay from Commerce, Texas, United States of America. And it's going on to uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. But I wanted to make a point this morning with the frost on the ground, okay? The other day I did a live, I did a 20-minute live stream in regards to what I saw the other day of how God was sending his angels on the earth. And literally as many as I saw in the spirit. And, um... What I do remember seeing <laughs> is God putting all of this snow on the ground. And he was over here at the apartments where I was lived, one of the angels. And he was, and the angel was just, just uh, pouring out the snow and just letting it snow on the ground. Well, <laughs> yes, this morning we have frost, okay? But... The point that I'm trying to make, the scripture reference for that, is that even though what it said this morning is out of Isaiah 1 verse 18, and I'll get the, and I'll read it later on. But the words that came out <laughs> is that the sins are the color of scarlet. And what I read this morning about the word scarlet is, you know, it it reminds me of how dark, how black, and how gooey things can get and it's like if you don't clean something up for a while <laughs> you get all of the colors of the nastiness and in, in the filth well when we don't deal with things um, like in plumbing like in sinks you know whenever you don't clean something the dirt just piles up and it, it looks like, like if you don't eat bread, it turns a color green, which they call mold. Well, I will say this. This morning, um, in reading that particular scripture, <laughs> it says that if you confess your sins, you come back to me. Even though your sins are scarlet, they will be white as snow. And the scripture references that um, that I, we will do this a little bit later out of First John one verses eight and nine that if you confess your sins, <clears throat> the Lord is just and faithful to forgive you, which simply means when you bring it together, that the Lord will make you white as snow in other words when you think of god when i think of god when i think of the words pure and holy i think of just clear it's nothing it's like liquid water pure living water because one of the things i know about the holy spirit whom lives inside of all of us whom are born again because Jesus Christ went to the cross for you and he shed his blood at Calvary and there is an old song called <clears throat> that when he cleanses your sins he makes you white as snow and I'm going to come over here for a second and I'll show you something very very quickly okay so, um, today I'm outside. I'm just taking a little bit of a stroll because I'm doing laundry where I live today. Ah, here we go. Alright, you see those rocks? <coughs> those are white. Those are clear. That, to me, represents white as snow. For the blood of Jesus Christ was shed 
for you on the cross. Because back in the days where the Old Testament was written, the Israelites had, <clears throat> the Israelites priest had to take every animal from the best, the innocent, the babies, from all of the families, and once a year, and I've told this uh, many times in some of my live streams and in some of the videos that I've done, but what they've done is they'll take the best of the animals of the families once a year. They will break the neck of that animal, or they will cut it, okay? And it can be the best of the animals. And what they would do is take those animals, shed the blood, okay? And it would cleanse the families of the sins for that year. And that was the requirement that the Levitical priest had to do. But, Jesus Christ did not come to change and to destroy the law. He came to fulfill that law, to make it easy so that by the grace of God, <coughs> we can be saved by the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb being Jesus Christ. So there doesn't have to be any more sacrifices made for sins. Okay? He made it simple for us. He made it simple for us. And that's out of Isaiah <coughs> verses 1. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Is that our sins will be made white as snow. And what does the blood of Jesus Christ does? He cl it cleanses us. It makes us pure. It makes us white as snow. Out of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. And I will go into a little bit more of it later. Alright. But I just wanted to give you that scripture reference as to why <coughs> I've seen angels pouring snow on this earth. Okay. But and I know yesterday I didn't do a video. Because right now I just kind of needed just to take a break from everything. Oh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But I just wanted to do a video today just to let you all know about that scripture. That the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin and it makes us white as snow in Jesus' name. Amen.